is such a thoughtful person and was really on track. He, he told me nothing oh, ever went wrong in his life. 1999 made the world championship team and then started to have shoulder problems. Just barely, barely missed qualifying for that 2000 team in one of the chosen spots. He could have been chosen for the team. Said he didn't watch a moment of the Olympic Games from Sydney, Australia. Quit along the way. Found himself at the University of Arizona. He said, I was a celebrated athlete. Got up at 3 o'clock in the morning to do his job, which was delivering auto magazines to convenience stores. And said, I was a celebrated athlete. Now I'm waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning to drop these magazines off at 7-Eleven. Decided that he wasn't done and he could give it one more shot. Four soul shoulder surgeries in two and a half years. And I tell you, he looks great, Al. He still has it. You look at his resume, and the last thing on it is the 2000 Olympic trials in Boston, Massachusetts. You just think if deserving something means anything, a guy like this is going to get his shot. And this has been great, wonderful exercise. And he could be one of those specialists. He's, he certainly could. He's not going to be a guy that is going to be a Paul Hom like gymnast. He just doesn't have the body for that. The upper body strength is, is really going to wreak havoc on those shoulders. But events like high bar and pommel horse, no question, he, he can be world class. That was his first release. Picks up a little bit of speed on those giant swings and we'll do another one, this time with a full twist. There's nothing better, Al, than coming around on that release move and seeing the bar and grabbing on. 